Hey guys, Ben Vic here and welcome to another vlog, a vlog 17 I believe, it's vlog 17, uh, I'm not sure, I've lost count. Um, <clears throat> lots to talk about today, I'm going to try and whisper it a bit, I think some of my vlogs have been going on a bit long. Um, what am I vaping on today? I am vaping on when uh, a setup becomes like officially crystallized uh, like it'll always this atty will always be with this mod when I decide on something like that I usually buy a drip tip to match um, the Billow V2 on the Tesla 2 um, I just love in this combination uh, absolutely rock solid just it's a great vape it's a great vape it's a hassle free vape easy to refill Lovely clouds, lovely flavour. Uh, I think it looks quite dashing. I think it looks quite dashing like that. I don't know what you think. I guess everyone's taste is different. One more vape. All right, I'll put that down. Uh, but that's what I'm vaping on today. So what should we cover? Um, vlog topic, let's just do vlog topic first. Uh, today's vlog topic, uh, what is your favorite RDA? Uh, what is your favourite a rebuildable dripping atomizer? Um, if you don't drip at all, uh, put that in the comments. Uh, but if you do, watch favourite dripper. Um, mine, mine is the tugboat V1, which I can't explain. It just is. It's just the airflow. It's non-adjustable, but it just happens to be exactly the airflow that I want on it. Uh, never have any trouble with the post holes or the screws or the deck or it's just great. It's, great. it's just a really good dripper, even though it's not technically up there with all the other stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'm asking that for a really good reason. I I, I want to buy another dripper, uh, but uh, I want to know what you guys think's the best one. So put in the comments your favourite RDA. That was the vlog topic thing. Um, what else is cracking off uh, Todd has uh, taken a sabbatical he's done his last video uh, signing out uh, obviously uh, Todd has been a massive help to me in this channel uh, sending me things to review uh, helping me with moral dilemmas of reviewing uh, he's given me loads of help and advice uh, he's given me um, a forum section on his forum to post my videos on like he does on his forum uh, and everyone on that forum is really lovely um, it's hard it's just been brilliant to me and uh, I think he's just taken a few months off I don't know exactly a couple I think he's taken two or three months off I don't think he knows himself exactly um, and I think he's gonna keep doing updates and stuff maybe mini vlogs or show and tells or or what have you but he's not accepting anything for review he's not doing anything any reviews so obviously uh, a good time to say uh, thank you to Todd thank you thank you Mark um, and uh, I'll see you soon and if you ever need anything give me a shout on Facebook um, or however through the free forum anyway um, give us a shout if you need anything and uh, thanks a lot for all your help uh, so that is that. Um, what's the next thing? And I'm not talking to myself there because Todd does watch my vlogs sometimes. <laughs> uh, so don't you worry about that. Um, he's the only person that does watch it, which is weird. Um, what else? Uh, the winner of the giveaway. The giveaway is closed. Finito. Someone guessed the exact number. Um... I realised once I'd picked the number, I can't tell you why I've picked that number, because it's incredibly personal. Um, but with the number 1527, uh, Ian Baldwin has won. And I'll be sending you an email, and I'll be sending the stuff out uh, straight away. If you're watching this, you might get it. You might be getting it. You'll get it probably the day after this video, I think. I don't know. Um, but Ian Baldwin, congratulations. You have won all that stuff. Um... You guess the exact number. I don't know what the chances are of that statistically. Um, it's like 10,000. It's like 100,000 to 1. No, it can't be. I don't know. 
it's incredibly unbelievable that you that you no it can't be because the lottery is twenty six thousand to one. Oh, I don't know. It's incredible. I can't believe you guessed the exact number. Um, but <laughs> but it saved a lot of time. <laughs> it saved me a lot of time. The fact that you just spot on nailed it. I was just like, oh, can delete every other email now. Um, so yeah, uh, it well done, well done, Ian. Uh, congratulations, and the stuff's on its way. Um, thanks to everyone else that took part. Got a hundred and forty. Uh, entries. Uh, 15 entries were incorrectly entered. Uh, you didn't follow the instructions properly. Uh, I'll let you in anyway, but I won't next time. So get it get it right next time. So Ian has won. Uh, what have I got coming up for review? Um, what have I got? I've got um, a Vaporbox. Now Vaporbox sent me, Vaporbox.co.uk sent me uh, a juice bundle, a juice box, they're a subscription service, they sent me a box of juice and uh, overall the juice was absolutely amazing, I was really impressed with it uh, they're now sending me um, a hardware subscription box, so if I was a, a subscriber to their hardware subscription uh, I think you get, you get hardware and juice, but um, they're sending me a box as if I was a subscriber to that service, so I'll open the box with you guys and we'll look at everything that comes in it um, and then I'll review the actual things that are in it. Uh, I've asked them to make sure they're not things that I've already reviewed. So uh, Vaporbox is sending me some stuff. Vaporbox at UK. I'm supposed to be getting a mod called the Gang Mod. Um, and I'm not going to talk about that much, but apparently it's on its way. I'm supposed to be getting sent the Kangside 100 Watt Box Mod as well. That's coming from Gearbest, I think. Um, I've also got for review, the next review after this vlog will be Epiclouds uh, Donut Pounder. Uh, that is Nick Grimgreen's cloud chasing range of e juice. Um, also, juice wise, I have got uh, Legacy Suit and Tie. I got this at Vape Expo. Um, thank you to everyone that, um, that grabbed me at Vape Expo and said hi and said you're a. A, a viewer or what have you or a subscriber uh, it's absolutely brilliant uh, really it was really really nice and I, I was there on my own um, and so it was brilliant to, that someone actually stopped and talked to me uh, rather than just ignore me and stop me from wandering around like a lonely person um, it was really great to see loads of other reviewers as well UK reviewers there that was really nice to see uh, and great to meet up you know talked online but never talked in person so it was really great to see you in person uh, and all, all great guys seem really nice uh, and yeah it was just great I saw you know I've, I've done it in the vape expo vid but everyone that I spoke to uh, really appreciative of speaking to you and it was really nice to meet you and it's great to meet some people in, in person I think it's really nice um, and the expo, I enjoyed the expo. I think this improvements they can make, like I've said in the video. But I did really enjoy myself at Vape Expo at the NEC, and I'm going to Vape Fest as well. So uh, check out Vape Fest if you're thinking about going. What else? Uh, we need to do uh, previously reviewed items, post review reviews of items. How I'm getting on with stuff. So, how am I getting on with the stuff that I have reviewed? The first thing, this is probably the most important one to cover actually, uh, the billet box uh, did not give this a positive review um, because of two main issues. Uh, it was Juice was leaking out of the tank through the ball and the tank didn't fit on very well which was causing the door to slip and slide in its, in its position. Now, uh, I got a new tank, uh, I got a new tank sent to me, I bought a new tank and uh, it doesn't leak anymore. Oy, you can do this and do this. You can do that. It doesn't leak anymore. Um, and the door, the tank fits much better. And so the door fits much better as well. It's a much tighter push now. Uh, and it's it's on. The door is on much more solid now. It's very hard to make it move. Um, and so I'm enjoying it more. Um, but the, what I said in that review still stands because I shouldn't have had to buy another tank. Uh, to get this going correctly and I do think the quality is nowhere near up there with the authentic version uh, so stand by what I said but it has but the problems have mostly gone away now that I did have with it uh, Paps V4 I wonder if I've got any juice in here nope bit of donut pounder in my Paps V4 
great this bit of the vlog so I just get to vape on everything uh, a bit of donut powder in here I've got the Derringer on my Paps V4 let's close it down a bit uh, Derringer Paps V4 how good does that look still loving this locking ring uh, the Paps V4 and I said it in the review I mean look how pretty that is what a cool setup Paps V4 I said it in the review is the best mechanical tube mod I've ever used Stunning, absolutely stunning. I've not encountered a problem with it at all. Tried a couple of different atomizers on it now, a couple of different batteries. I think it's absolutely brilliant and uh, I love it. And can't say any more than that. Really happy with that. The Mini VF, two points here. The Mini VF, uh, turn it on. Um, it's really solid mod. It's a really solid mod. Um, it's not, it's, there's nothing major, apart from the light, there's nothing majorly wrong with this. Now, the one thing I did sort of grumble over in the review is temperature control, and I just didn't have my head around it, and, uh, and I was really struggling with temp control in general. Now, since then, <laughs> I've been putting in the hard yards, and uh, I have a temperature coil. I've coiled up my k fun in a temperature using a nickel coil, um, and it's in a temperature mode now and it is working really nice it's just absolutely lovely I've got it at 20 watts um, it's a 0.13 uh, nickel coil and I've got it at 420 Fahrenheit and um, it's working absolutely flawlessly um, I, I, and if, if you get anywhere near a dry wick it just sto it just stops you it just like drops the power and drops out and I, I completely em the first to go on this I completely emptied the tank vaping it to the point that the entire wick was dry the entire tank was like sparkling clean dry inside so it really is working really really well I think um, Basically, my issue was the clear amizers that had temperature coils in that I was trying to use to understand temp control simply did not wick fast enough. So they were always a bit dry, so they were always getting a bit hot and they were always hitting that limit. Now, they're not. Now everything is going really, really well. Uh, and I've got a Squipe... Oh, I didn't mention, I've got a Squipe R on the way as well. Um, and I'm going to put a nickel coil in there. I'm going to try a nickel coil in my rose. I've got a steam turners kit for my rose coming as well. Oh, I've got loads of stuff coming. Um, but no, this is working absolutely magic now. Yeah, so basically I just feel like we're back to square one with China where they don't know how to wrap a coil all over again. They just nailed sub ohm clearamizers with Canfall and now we're asking them to do nickel coils and it doesn't look like they're very good at it because I've done one in here and it's magic. Um, I saw it be careful with your uh, temperature clearamizers. The ones that seem okay are the Vapor Shark Aspire Nautilus ones. Apparently they're not bad. And the Kanga Subtank and Nickel Coils apparently are alright as well. Um, but the ones I've tried, the lesser ones, are, are crap. Absolute crap. They're just not wick fast enough so they just get too hot and they bum out. The only things remaining with temperature control is now I did some dry burning tests with this as well and it seemed like it started to char the um, cotton at around 420, 430, 440 ish so I set it to 420 to stop that happening now I think the problem some people are going to have now is they're going to say well, I like a really hot vape or I like a really warm vape um, which is fine as long as you keep your wicks wet um, but it means that you're sort of defeating the point of temperature control because uh, really the idea is it doesn't deteriorate your wick at all so that's a problem for some people I, I'm quite happy with this vape, I think it's a nice vape um, so yeah, that's temp control nailed till the DNA 200 comes out and changes it all again um, but no, basically my issues with temperature control were crap clear coiled heads that didn't wick fast enough basically um, so that was that, the Billow V2, absolutely love this RTA, 
absolutely love this RTA. I cannot speak highly enough. It's, I'm grabbing this most evenings now. Got awesome battery life on the Tesla 2 as well. So it's just there. It's just there. It works a couple of days straight. Um, it's big, big clouds on a Mac. Wicks easy. No problems with wicking. Coils really nice. I took this to Vape Expo as well. No leaks or problems or anything. Um, so I'm absolutely loving this RTA. Can't on that's you know this a couple of weeks down the line. What am I two or three weeks down the line with this now? I love it. Really love it. Okay. So what is next? Let's do. I'm going to do a really quick mini juice review. Juice review. Uh, Dejin, New York. New York, New York by Dejin. Um, now this is like a coffee latte, fancy doody, uh, hazelnutty coffee type vape. Uh, I've got it in the K from V4 on the Kato box mod. And I really like it. It's not an all day vape for me, but it would be if you're a coffee vapor. Um, I like it in the mornings for a little bit or when I'm actually when I'm editing videos and stuff it's quite an easy one to grab and vape uh, really like it in the K phone uh, really like it in tanks and clearomizers really tasty Dejin DejinVape.com I believe I'll put up the Dejin website here I uh, can't remember what it is uh, but I really like the uh, Dejin just google it Dejin <laughs> New York uh, it's like a coffee style one I was surprised really surprised by this one so I've suddenly thrown it in uh, really like this juice, really different, really tasty. I'll put this back on the shelf. So really happy with that, really like that juice. So more of a juice shout out than a review, but um, liking that a lot. Uh, yeah, sort of like, you know, like fancy coffee flavoured, you know, you go to Costa, you get your latte, skinny latte, frapper, you know, jobby. Uh, one of your bullshit coffees, as um, Larry David would say on Kirby Enthusiasm, uh, which if you haven't watched Kirby Enthusiasm, why? Sort yourself out. Come on. Uh, it's the best sitcom ever made. Kirby Enthusiasm. Uh, yeah, but one of your bullshit coffees, it tastes like one of your bullshit coffees, it's really nice. Um, so that was that. Uh, we should probably do World Vaping News. <laughs> World vaping news. World vaping news. Um, what sort of things are coming out, and what have I had my eye on and stuff? The first thing that I've, uh, I, I was really, really, really looking at and considering buying was the Hannah One mod, uh, which is a big screen DNA forty mod by Hannah, and um, it's got the Inokin Invader style separatable batteries. Um, so you can get a bigger battery set and attach it on, or the little one and attach that on. Um, and it was DNA thought in it was Hannah, and I thought it'd be absolutely rock solid, like the uh, like the the Hannahs that have been out for a while, and the Hannah V4s and stuff. Very very tempted, and it is way cheaper than previous Hannah mods. Um, so I did a bit of looking around, a couple of reviews, uh, talked about it on the forums a bit. Turns out. They've gone for this lower price point, but as a result, they've gone for a, a, a cheaper manufacturing process and used cheaper materials. And it's looking to me like it's a bit of a pig. It's looking to me like it's a bit tacky, a bit cheap, a bit cheap feeling. Uh, apparently, like the battery pack section can just come off really easy. Um, apparently, like the seam is just like you can just constantly feel the gap between the batteries. It just seems like you take the in in Inokin one, which is really solid, really nice mod put together, and then you get the Hannah one, and you put that DNA 40 big screen in the Inokin one, and you've got yourself a really good mod. Uh, but it sounds like the Hannah one is a bit of a fail. Um, I haven't had a go on one, obviously, uh, but this is what I'm being told, and this is what I've seen on reviews and stuff, and it looks a bit, it looks a bit cheap and tacky and nasty and poor quality. And so I was put off that. Uh, if you were thinking about the HANA 1 mod, m maybe go and look at some reviews and stuff. Some honest reviews uh, that do talk about the flaws. Or if you're a member of a forum, do a search on the forum for, for that mod before going and getting one. It 
doesn't look to me like it's high enough quality and it doesn't look like it's up to Hannah's standards. Um, the other thing coming out uh, is, uh, I'll just get comfy, it's, sorry, it's relaxing there. Uh, the other thing that's coming out is the uh, Vapor Shark Vapor Flask. Now, this is a collaboration between uh, the Vapor Shark people and the Vapor Flask people. Basically, it sounds as though uh, Vapor Flask are working on their next mod, whether that's. It sounds like they're going with the Yeehe chips from now on, for a little while anyway. Um, so there's going to be a Vapor Flask with a Yeehe chip in. Um, I think it's to do with the batteries. I think they want to continue using 18650 batteries. Um, in the meantime, the production of their DNA 40 Vapor Flasks has now been handed over to, in collaboration with Vapor Shark. So there's a Vapor Shark version of the Vapor Flask coming out. Uh, and they're going to keep to a lot, pretty much a lot of the design principles. It sounds like of it's going to have that. It's going to have that DNA forty big screen and the the new V five gold chip and all that. Um, but the sound looks like the main upgrade is, well, not upgrade, but change is the. It's going to have that Vapor Shark style feel to the actual mod, that grippy feel, um, and it's going to be actually made by Vapor Shark using Vapor Shark's manufacturing process. Uh, so that's going to be cheaper than a normal vapor flask because uh, vapor shark can do it in higher volume and quicker and stuff. Um, but it's cheaper. It's going to be cheaper than the typical flask, and so that is on its way out. I think that's about that's hitting shops right now. Uh, it might even be out. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you always really liked the vapor flask, now you can get one with a DNA forty big screen and cheaper. Uh, and a it depends on how you feel about that feel of material, but uh, should be a good vapor flask that one, uh, made by Vapor Shark. And watch out for. I will be very, very, very interested to see what the next generation of vapor flask is like with those Yeehe chips. I really like some of the Yeehe chips. Uh, the SX350 uh, is a quality chip. I'd love to see a flask with that. Uh, the one thing with a flask, well, the two things for, that attract uh, me with a flask are. Uh, the way it feels in the hand is great and um, the battery life of it being t dual 18650s in parallel so um, so that looks a piece to to, uh, to keep an eye on um, what else do I need to talk about ok I'm going to do some shout outs before my face gets any redder and I explode um, I don't know why I'm finding it such hard work today um, ok uh, shout outs um, Kelvin the Fat Vapor, uh, I don't know if that's like a way, uh, Fat Vapor, he's got, I'm just called, Kelvin is called Fat Vapor, he has a new uh, Google Hangout style show um, that he's doing now, uh, it's called World Vapor, World of Vapors, Vapors Worldwide it's called, um, and there's a, I've put a link in the description to the channel that that show is broadcast from. Uh, some really good guys on there. Kelvin's good guy, uh, John's good guy, Jamie's good guy. Go and check that out. I think it's on every Wednesday, but you can watch all the catch up videos on the channel, which is what I tend to do. Um, so go and check them out. Vapors World of Va no Vapors Worldwide. Vapors with a Z Worldwide. But check out the link in the description. Um, yeah, so it's good. Support that. That's a good thing. It's got. Uh, people contributing on the uh, broadcast from America and England so it's got a nice sort of dual nationality perspective to it uh, which is really good uh, Vape Talk UK it's going from strength to strength they seem to have like a big profile guest on every week now uh, so check that out if you haven't already you really need to be checking that out because it's if you're especially if you're in the UK because it's a very UK centric broadcast uh, which is really good uh, so go and check that out, link in the description to that. Who else needs a shout out? No, no one. It's a good time to wrap it up, I think, before it gets boring. Um, so absolutely loads of things coming up to review. One, two, three, four, four or five mods, some juice. Four or five mods and four or five pieces of juice to review, literally in coming in right now for me to review so uh, keep your hat on your head um, no hold on to your hats 
uh, hold on to your hats for all the stuff that uh, is coming in. Uh, loads of reviews coming up. Thank you for your support as always, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you again really soon.